um, going to do an aerial waterfowl survey. We run them twice a month from October through January. And um, some of the surveys are just done on what we call the core survey, uh, which is from the Broadkill River up to Woodland Beach. And then uh, two surveys a year are the whole state. And we go from Asswoman Bay all the way up to the Pennsylvania state line. It's a count of waterfowl um, and to kind of assess their migration. It's been done annually since 1974, so it gives us a long-term data set to look at different trends in waterfowl numbers. Uh, the way we do our surveys, there is a black bar on the wing that kind of estimates distance in kind of triangulation down to the ground. And um, it gives me about a 10 to 15 second window to estimate the number of birds. Uh, the way I do that is I first count groups of 5, 10, or 50, and then you kind of visually draw circles of similar numbers of birds in the flock. So then you get an estimate. It's not a true accurate count, but after you've done it a number of times, uh, you can get pretty accurate. If there was, say, a man-made disaster like an oil spill, we could then go back into this data set and look at an estimate of what n bird numbers could be affected, say, in the Delaware Bay or in any of the marshes or inland bays if there was a man-made disaster. Uh, our hunters kind of use this data to um, assess how many birds are in the area and if it's better to go hunting in different parts of the state. It kind of gives us an index of what's around and um, so for tundra swans, which we saw a bunch today or you will see on the video, um, there's uh, numbers are annually set during the midwinter waterfowl inventory, which is uh, the first survey in January, and uh, we use the plane to count them. So uh, for the regulation setting process and estimating populations, this is the method of choice for that species. But now I get to spend uh, a, an hour or two sitting behind the computer getting all the data taken from the voice recorder I did. Uh, entered into Excel and then it's actually uploaded to our online data portal and there is a waterfowl survey website on the Fish and Wildlife page for those people who wish to look at the data.